Activity 2 is splitting channels. In this we'll show you how to split an RGB merged image into separate red, green and blue images. Open up this bpae.tiff image, again just drag and drop. So this is an image of three channels and the channels have been colored in the blue lookup table, the green lookup table and the red lookup table and it's an RGB image here. So in this case what we're going to do is we're going to split out these three colors into individual images. So this will only work if the image has come in that blue, green, red format. If you've got magenta in there that's that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to use image, color, split channels. And now you can see we've got our blue, our green and our red channel separated out. Now again, another little hint, if you can't see them all, if you go to Window and hit Tile, that will rearrange it so you can see the uh, different channels on your, on your screen. Now again, if you want to save these out at the moment, they're 8 bits, so we probably need to go into Image RGB Color before we go File, Save As, and we're going to save that as a TIFF file. And in this case, I'm just going to save it onto the onto the desktop. Okay, so that's going to save that as a grayscale image. What if we wanted to put the color back? Um, how would we do that? So in that case, we're going to use a lookup table, uh, which is under image, lookup tables. And then some of the standard ones are situated here, the red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow. Uh, in this case it's the green, so let's hit green to that one. Again we're going to convert that to an RGB color file. So here RGB color before we save that out again as a TIFF file. Now you could go through and do the same thing for the, for the blue channel. <clears throat> Okay, so that's how you can take a merged image which has been acquired with the red, green, blue channels and split those out into, into individual channels. So that is activity two, and again, those instructions are in your, um, in your handouts.